With its big name change, is this the year EA finally takes a real step forward out of the microtransaction-focused darkness and into the light to realize its soccer series' full potential? The answer is a resounding kind of. While there are breadcrumbs of greatness in EA Sports FC 24 that can be seen with evolutions and tactical visions, there's still far too many of the same nagging problems carried over from FIFA, like poor AI, that have been around for a frustratingly long time. The first few hours of EA Sports FC 24 gameplay feels familiar, for better and for worse. Hypermotion V and the PlayStation 5's DualSense controller feedback return to make matches realistic, with precise ball and player physics, noticeable field wear and tear, and goalpost shaking haptics. It's hard to deny that there's a lot of attention to detail going into recreating a realistic soccer atmosphere. New overlays showcase useful statistics like shot volume and offside events. Numerous background interview segments are also laced throughout match day's pre-, mid-, and post-game segments. While they don't feature any actual interactions with players and interviewers, it's one of the many noticeable bits of detail that add to the atmosphere. If you foul someone to set up a free kick, you'll even get a neat little first-person setup from the ref's perspective, just like you'd see during a live broadcast. Team walkouts and ceremonial songs have sadly been cut, replaced by a few different shots of either fans or players getting ready for game day. Unfortunately, the artificial intelligence part of the Hypermotion V technology that has been so heavily advertised doesn't live up to the hype. While kinetic shielding makes for some exciting battles, players still fall all over each other in unnatural ways. The constantly improving AI, known as machine learning, is also hit or miss. Goalkeepers let in easy shots, pass input mistakes happen frequently, and AI teammates make terrible attacking or defensive decisions that would have Harry Maguire blushing. It's frustrating that these issues are still a part of the series, but there are changes that help ease the pain of dealing with them, most notably play styles. These let you customize every player's method of play to fit their specific strengths and weaknesses. No two players control the same way, adding a fresh layer to gameplay and how you approach team management. You can bully opponents off the ball and rip through nets with Erling Holland's power shot, or finesse passes and set pieces with James Ward-Prowse's dead ball approach. When creating a customized player's playstyle, there are 32 abilities to choose from, spread across six categories. Shooting, passing, defending, ball control, physical, and goalkeeping. While it might seem simple at first, each one has a lot of unique sub-abilities to sort through that determine their build. This makes a world of difference when it comes to tailoring your preset skills to work alongside your specific manner of play. Alongside playstyles, you can now go into the settings and turn on an option to control the direction of your pass and shot, replacing the previous precision system. General passes and lobs can be directed to exact locations. Shots are more on target while using the left stick to aim, and mastering these techniques won't come without a bit of practice, but they open up the possibility of making creative runs, especially when working with other players. Thankfully, the updated practice arena has more depth in EA Sports FC 24 than it ever did in FIFA, adding in scenarios that new players and veterans alike should check out. Try out specific set pieces here, or nail down what playstyle works best for you in drills or even full-on matches. Putting your pride aside and practicing to get the hang of the controlled shots and passes is worth it in the long term, as you can run experiments in a much quicker and more efficient manner than you'd be able to by playing full games, thanks to the sheer amount of control you're given. 
Once you've got your style nailed down, it's time to dive into the real reason EA Sports FC 24 is as popular as it is. It's trading card game mode, AKA Sports Yu-Gi-Oh, AKA FUT, AKA Ultimate Team. As always, you'll need to go into Ultimate Team with a practical mindset. It always feels inherently unfair because people who are willing to spend real money will have a much better squad in a shorter amount of time than someone who doesn't. The name of the game is still that quantity results in quality and microtransactions pay for quantity. While it's aggravating that grinding or paying big bucks are still your only two options for significant progress, improvements elsewhere help deliver one of the best Ultimate Team experiences to date even if you don't pay. Evolutions in Ultimate Team allow you to take the base stats of cards and improve them by completing challenges as long as they fit the criteria. This varies from stats like overall, pace, and rarity. Take young talents like Callum hudson Odoi from a left wing 76 rating to a relentless winger 81 rating thanks to the founder's evolution by completing a variety of different objectives broken into three levels. Finish a group of requirements in a level and you'll get a stat boost reward. What's nice is that completing these objectives isn't as brutal as previous games in the series. Yes, I'm talking about you, FIFA Ultimate Team 20. Most just ask you to complete matches with your evolution player. Getting to improve players you draw instead of just praying for a good pull is an enticing incentive to play Ultimate Team for the long term. Another leap forward for this mode is the addition of over 19,000 fully licensed players, 700 teams, and 30 leagues from the women's soccer divisions. You heard that right. By comparison, FIFA 23 only had 12 NWSL teams and four stadiums. FC 24 not only lets you play as everyone from Sam Kier to Kadidiatu Diani, but it makes men's and women's statistics equal. That means Nadine Kessler is able to body players off the ball the exact same way that Adama Traore can, making for some wild mixed gender matchups and lineups. Volta, meanwhile, didn't change up too much, but it's still arguably the best mode to just have fun in. Sure, there will be matches where someone is idle or is a complete ball hog, but the ones where you link up with compatible players bring back fond memories of FIFA Street. Since chemistry is so important, it's recommended that you try and round up a solid squad of four friends if you want to get the most enjoyment and best results out of Volta. By comparison, the single-player focused career modes are a considerable letdown. Player journeys are once again riddled with a poor excuse for role-playing, with FIFA 23's personality points rearing their ugly head again. It's hard to imagine anything screaming I love soccer more than purchasing a jet ski to earn 50 maverick points that will result in your player being a more aggressive shooter. The addition of player agents in dynamic moments shows some potential to help flesh out the mode and make it a more fun RPG, but even those fail to stick the landing. Meeting certain goals via a player agent to get a transfer or renewed contract from your dream squad sounds nice in theory, but some of the objectives are insane. Yeah, sorry Messi, we know you broke the record for most goals scored in a campaign, but we had to let you go because you didn't get enough scorpion kick goals as you were doing it. What? The whole thing sours what could have been a really great way to make up for the lack of being able to choose your own path and direction that has weighed down previous career modes. Dynamic moments also fail to capture the weight and gravity of situations fully. You can only watch the same cutscene so many times before wondering where the story-based content of FIFA 17's Alex Hunter has gone. Manager mode is a little more interesting in FC 24, mostly due to the seven tactical identities that your coach can apply to their club. Tactical vision is what playstyles are for an individual, just applied to a whole team instead. Pick the more defensive-minded park the bus option for a great defense, or use Tiki Taka to control the middle of the field. Even then, there isn't much that has changed in this career mode either, as single player once again feels like an afterthought, cowering in the long shadow cast by Ultimate Teams.
If you were hoping for a dramatic reinvention of EA's soccer sim to go along with ditching the FIFA name, EA Sports FC 24 is not that. If you've played FIFA, you know exactly what kind of incremental improvements and long-standing problems with AI to expect this year. New mechanics like evolutions show that EA has a general grasp of how to improve its RPG elements, even if it's only currently for Ultimate Team where you have to put up with all of the dreaded microtransactions. Elsewhere, Volta Mode is still a lot of fun with a full team of friends thanks in part to its unique arenas, while the career modes once again suffer from the same lack of care they've been missing for years, with the added annoyance of some ill-conceived RNG-based objectives this time. All told, it might have a new name, but EA Sports FC 24 is just about the same frustrating but beautiful game. For more on the latest sports games, be sure to check out our reviews of NBA 2K24 and Madden NFL 24, and for everything else, stick with IGN.